Hi there Taurus, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop and this is your tarot reading for the month of February. I'm just going to pull out a couple of cards for you just to let the, it's an opportunity if you like really for the cards to give you a message. If it doesn't resonate then also check out your moon and or your rising signs because they may you may be energetically more in tune with those planets um, this month. So let's have a look, I've got the angels and oracles deck here so I'm going to take one oracle card to see what the flavour or the theme of the month is for you for Taurus for February That's, what would you like to say to Taurus for February That's, okay unlock the magic within so let's there's a magic guardian so let's leave the magic guardian there while we Pull the tarot cards. This is Taurus for February. 29, a bit Valentine's month, isn't it? Um, there's, I'm just trying to think of the major things that are going on. You've obviously got Valentine's. I believe it's a leap year this year. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I've got that wrong, but I think it is. Um, okay, so this is Taurus for the month of February. One two three four five six pop those to one side okay let's see what we have well you are fed up with waiting for something and um, that's the the thing that comes through straight away okay um so february begins you've got one two you've got two major arcanas this month so it's a pivotal month february will something will you'll I always say when a couple of major arcana come in like this, and these are very spiritual, these ones. So you've got the temperance and you've got the high priestess. So this is a, a spiritual um, a spiritual month. Something changes within you. You either get some knowledge or something moves you forward. And you end the month changed somehow at a deeper level than you were at the beginning. So it's a very much a self-improvement month for some reason. So... And when it says unlock the magic within, that's beautiful, isn't it? Because it ties in beautifully with these cards. So temperance tells me that you're trying to get the balance right. It's a very spiritual card. And it says, actually, um, as you can see, we've got an angel here. Everything happens in its time. It's about getting the balance between the physical and the spiritual. So you can see we've got a foot in water and a foot on ground. It's a gorgeous card. It is a card of patience and duality so making sure that you have got the balance right i'm trying to think if there's anything else that wants to come through from that so i'm just trying to tune in a little bit there um and that's because you've been so you are trying to find the balance you know it feels as if you've been too practical and actually you've been ignoring the spiritual side of you if you know what i mean like the manifestation side and actually you are trying to manifest because you're fed up with something so you're fed up with the status quo, fed up with the way that things are. You can see he's quite quite disenchanted here. You've got three cups here still standing up. The heavens are offering a gift and he's not even really interested in it at all. You can see he's not even really looking at it. He's looking down or he's like, I don't want it. I'm just fed up. I'm fed up with this. So it's time for change. And when you get that dissatisfaction feeling and then that brings along into your month so you kind of feel like that at the beginning of the month um you're craving this more meaning in your life you know deeper meaning manifestation bringing things to reality and there's a little bit of why does everybody else have it and i don't i feel there's some certain materialistic goals here as well that you're looking to achieve with the with the manifestation and the reason i say that is is because you've got two pentacles here as well so it is about money it's about manifesting things for yourself. Um, the High Priestess is a beautiful card. She has hidden knowledge within her. And when the High Priestess comes into a reading, she says, you have to trust your intuition. So trust in me. Know that there is a greater plan for you. And you ask for this or something better. Because obviously the universe always knows what's best for you. I don't want to give you the illusion that you don't have free will because you know that you do. It's just that sometimes they have... We think, oh, we would like this. And then there are limitations that are placed on that. And actually, the universe is limitless. So allow the universe to kind of bring either that or something better. And the reason for that is because financially, 
you are feeling a bit out in the cold. I don't know if you had a big expense recently, but things aren't growing as you would like them to. It could be that you've made an investment in something and it's not quite paying off yet. Um, and you are having to stand your ground. So you are going to be as a result of that. Yes, this feels like it's tied into somebody else or something here that's not quite material. It's not an independent thing. It's not something you're doing on your own. There's a financial situation here where you feel that you have been, yeah, you're out in the cold financially. And usually when this comes, you've invested in some, or you've loaned some money or some, it's not just paying out. It's not, it's not going as expected. And as a result of that, you are having to stand up, defend your position. This card is always defending your position. So you're defending your position and your position is, is that you are entitled to this. You see, she's, She's not even worried about her money. Look, there's so much money growing here. She's not at all concerned about it so much. So she's um, the self-made woman. You know, this is the self-made woman or the self-made person. So you're defending your position for that. So it's a very interesting month. It's, it's a manifestation month. My advice would be with these kind of cards is as the card says initially, unlock the magic within. So you need to have faith. And remember this, please write down the affirmation and use it. Universe, I would like this or something better. And I thank you. I gratefully receive it. This or something better. And mantra it and just see how you get on for the month. Because, you know, the world is your oyster as it always is. And there is a limitless amount of financial gain and recognition out there for you. Okay, Taurus, so that's your reading for the month of February. I hope that you found it useful and um, I'll see you next month. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.